Good afternoon folks, I'm Dan and we're back on the 701 project. Today I've been working on controls. Part of the stuff I had done before and in place but I've been fitting things up a little bit better and just trying to show that I'm making a little progress to myself. The flapper on control mounts already mounted in the plane. It's painted up in there. The bell cranks are installed on it although they'll you know there'll be adjustments to them and everything but they're in place flap on control lever I'm still working on the plans for that I haven't got back I put out the first video on redesigning that but I haven't done any more with that I've been just haven't got back to the drawing board on it yet so anyway that parts kind of done I had the torque tube done before I fitted up the aileron rod horn that goes on there got that spacing all right I had previously done the horizontal tail bell crank, it's now mounted on the torque tube, and I have the control stick pretty well done. What I'm working on today is a pitch control rod, which is uh, 7C1-3, the Zenith numbers for it, is 3 quarter inch OD035 tubing, 685 millimeters is their dimension for it, although they say to check it with stick neutral, so that's the way we'll do it. And I've already done part of this. Uh, it calls for, this will be the back end that will actually fit into this bell crank right here. It will be slotted and fit on it. It has a insert inside to keep from crushing the tubing and hold it centered. I've already turned the insert. It's quarter inch OD, 28 thousandths ID is what they call for. I don't believe I had any 28 thousandths. I just set it up in the lathe and reamed it out. But it will fit in here and be our spacer. So it's fitted to the inside of the tube. I went ahead and fitted it to the inside of this tube. That way I can radius the edges on it. I don't know if you can see those edges or not. But I've radius them so they fit nicely inside the tube on both ends. And they'll go in there. So we'll do that. I've already drilled this into the tube. And this tube is exceptionally long. It's just a piece I had and I'm going to fit it in the plane anyway. So I'll, uh, I'll go ahead. I think there's room to to slide it down in there once I get this end fitted to the bell crank and it gets notched out and sets on the side insert goes in here I've already drilled these and what I did is I did them I set them up in the little drill press and just leveled the leveled the table with a bandsaw table since I had a long piece I didn't want it flopping in the air and I wanted to be able to drill down straight through first holes uh, 3 16 hole they're both 3 16 holes actually um, 10 millimeters back from the front, standard standard spacing on most of it. Then it'll be slotted out top and bottom to clear that bell crank so it's got room to pivot. They call for a four millimeter hole, which is approximately three sixteenths there. And I'm just gonna take these over to the bandsaw and notch them out. The way I drilled these, I leveled the, leveled the bed so I had support all the way across. And I drilled this hole. Then I took some three sixteenths rod that I had and I ran it through that, through those holes, maybe ran through the hole and kind of used them as a winding stick so when I set it up I just I just spotted my first hole where I wanted it centered and then I leveled the rod just visually leveled it so it it sat drilled all the way through and that gives me 90 degrees so uh, that will be plenty sufficient for this I'm gonna go ahead go and notch this out and round these corners and probably file out a little bit to get that and then we'll be ready to fit it up in the plane went ahead and notched the pitch control rod and there again, we're going to have to finesse everything a little bit more before it's actually in place and ready to go. This off of the torque tube. I think as hard as these go together, we'll reinstall the torque tube with the handle on it. Let's see if we can get this in. This will be drilled through here. That shaft will be, be <laughs> will come through the center. We'll shorten this up to whatever length we need, and it gets retained with a uh, cotter pin or washer on either side, and then a 16th inch cotter pin, I believe, is what goes through there. So that's pretty much the way the assembly will look. We'll go ahead and set it in the airplane, and that's going to be approximately stick neutral, I believe, right there. 
but we'll go ahead and fit that and then we'll mark our hole for for the front of the pitch control rod we can go ahead and drill it and then we'll uh, probably go ahead and reassemble it here's the setup I used to I went ahead shortened it up although I've got to cut it off some more yet it's still too long but I wanted to leave extra it interfered with the floor a little bit here's the setup I used to drill the hole that will um, slip over the stick and all it is is just a piece of scrap I had for another thing had a step in it I went ahead and clamped it down so that I'm level with the holes that I had before and just spaced it up with this piece of 3 16th angle I went ahead and drilled right through the center of it quick and easy so let's go see if it fits and assuming it does why I'll do that's about all I'm going to do on it today but that'll uh, that'll give you an idea of what's going on I'll, I'll take a few still shots of this before I before I go in today. Thanks for taking the time to watch these. If you enjoy these videos and find them helpful, please subscribe. Go ahead and share them and uh, give me a thumbs up if you would. Any comments, I appreciate having. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Well, this is hard to see in here, but this uh, is a little bit of the overview that's sitting what I consider to be stick neutral there or awful close to it. But there's the assembly. This is the rod that we've just been building here. There's our horizontal bell crank there, and there's our control tube. So I've had about enough fun for today. It's getting awful hot out here, and it's awful warm in here.